Hey Zesties, I'm Michelle May and welcome or welcome back to my channel Zesty Girl. Today is another What's For Dinner where I share with you my family's meals for the past week. They are always super quick, super easy, absolutely no frills for my family of six. So if you'd like to see what we ate last week, then let's do this. Okay, so I started out super simple with two pork chops. This was for my husband and I, baked with broccolini and potatoes. Also in the oven with it was some chips, and that was for my boys because they were gonna be having sausages, chips, and cucumber with tomato. Really easy, and even though there's two sausages on the plate, but each of them probably had another two as well. Next night was super easy as well. We did pork, pork curry, and that was about all there was to it. Okay, so the next night was really fun because I got to make one meal for everybody and that was chicken kebabs that I had got on Meat Markdown from Woolworths. I'd got two lots of them so I had about 20 kebabs. So I cooked those up and served it with fresh beetroot from Costco and a salad with avocado, tomato, butter leaf lettuce from Aldi which you can tell this was earlier on in the week because there's no lettuces now. And this was just a really great meal for everyone and I even added some broccoli from Costco on the side with some cheese. Now let's jump to some footage I recorded during the week. So this is a pack I got from Woolworths on Markdown. It was, um, I saved a lot on it. So this is two lots. Honey soy chicken with vegetables. And it's, it's got four stars, so it's gotta be a really good product. And it was originally, let me tell you what it was, price wise, it was originally, Eight dollars, and I got it for four dollars, so half price. So yeah, I've made some rice, and it's going to be nice. I'm just going to have put a handful of spinach in, just because I can. Look how good that looks now. See, you just need to add the veggies. Looks so much more professional. How good does this look? On the rice, it looks amazing. What a reasonable meal. What a cheap meal. This is a quarter of it. So this meal is only about $2. And I'm gonna make like a loaded chips, but they're not chips, they're potatoes for the boys. And this is how that has turned out. So we've got the roast potatoes covered in pork mince with spinach, a bit of grated cheese that I've melted, and some broccoli, which is the Costco broccoli. It's been cooked in the microwave. So broccoli on the side and some guacamole, also from Costco. Did I say Costco before? Broccoli from, broccoli from Costco. And then some guacamole on top that, that's also from Costco. And there we have something like loaded, something like loaded fries. Okay, lamb crock pot is cooked. It's been on all day, looks gorgeous. It actually tastes gorgeous too. Yum, 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 yum. It's got green beans, it's got carrots, lamb four quarter chops, it's got a little bit of stock, tomato paste, garlic, pepper and salt, onions, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. And here it is served up on rice. Yum. So this week I got two cooked chickens from Costco, so let me show you what I did with those. I created some pasta dishes, I cooked the pasta, then I had a jar of caminara that I would got from Aldi. So I basically put the chicken from the Costco in with the sauce, cooked it all up, and then I assembled that together in a pasta dish, added some cooked broccoli from Costco, and created this delicious caminara that was so, it was five minutes. It literally took five minutes to make. Added some grated cheese on the top, and we were done. Baked it in the oven for about five minutes and we were done. So one, that was the first dish. The second dish was chicken pie. I basically threw chicken from the Costco chickens in with veggies and a nice broth, a chicken broth. Cooked that up, threw it in a pie dish and then literally slapped on a bit of pastry on the top. You can see it sort of melted because the pie filling was hot still. Anyway, I don't mind. I just threw it in the oven and created these beautiful chicken pies. I didn't really have time to make everything look beautiful and it doesn't really need to for weeknight dinners. So that's how they turned out, but they were really delicious and when they were plated up, they looked quite nice actually. Have a look. I think they looks gorgeous. Anyway, my husband thought they were amazing and the most important thing was the taste was incredible. So I'll be definitely making those again. Okay, so onwards with my two chickens. 
I also had enough chicken to make my favorite pasta dish, which is basically you put, you cook the pasta, you throw in the chicken or whatever you want to throw in, add this bolognese chunky tomato garlic and herb sauce, one of my favorite sauces, the cooked broccoli from Costco as well, mix it all together, throw on the grated cheese, bake it in the oven for five minutes, 10 minutes maybe, and there is a beautiful pasta bake. This goes so far, and if you add a little bit of salad to it, it can probably go nine ways. Here it is dished up, and yeah, onwards with my chicken. This is the last bit of chicken that was left. Oh, I also made chicken sandwiches, but that's just beside the point. Uh, this is the last bit of chicken left. A little bit of broccoli was left over, so I added that together. Added some spinach, because I just throw spinach in everything. Added in a bit of uh, leftover pasta that I had as well. Mixed it all together with a jar of pesto from Aldi. Mixed that all together and made this beautiful, beautiful pesto, chicken pesto pasta. And that's just such a hit with my boys. So they loved it. And here it is plated up. And that was my final meal for the week. So that's everything. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it the thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel, I would love to have you here and I hope you got some great ideas from this video for meals for your family. See you next time. See ya, bye.